over the summer we've been um, covering different topics, we've been having some gorgeous co-hosts with us and of course we're giving you the chance to get your hands on saint goodies. So today um, I am joined by the gorgeous Lydia Millen. Stop Hi Lydia. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So you are a beauty and fashion blogger. Yes, yeah. How did you get into it? Oh gosh, well I was, I went to university quite late and um, I wasn't allowed to do the degree that I wanted that was in kind of like fashion and I was doing a more business based one. So I had this kind of like yearning that I wanted to just do something. So I started like a website and then I saw that girls were taking like pictures of their outfits, pictures of like the beauty products that they were using. And I was like, oh, I could do that as well. I could kind of integrate that into my website. That I'm doing. Yeah, I can do that. And it just kind of went from there. And then a bit, a bit over a year ago, I started my YouTube channel and um, it's just, it's been crazy. And I just love having an excuse to just talk about all of the things that I love, like the products that I love Amazing. and just the clothes that I love. It's great. I love it. And you do a lot of traveling as well, don't you? Yeah. I'm super jealous yeah. of the stories <laughs> and the pictures I see. So this is why we are covering holiday tanning and we have Lydia with us today. So for those of you who don't know me, my name's Jane and I'm the training and tanning expert for Saint-Tropez. So my job is to deliver training across the UK and Europe. So Lydia, you have been to most, some of the most beautiful parts of the world. We were talking before the live and some of the destinations you've been to are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it looks like we have a first question actually, holiday, um, on holiday, yes. Holly asks, Lydia, do you have a favourite holiday destination? I want to know this as well. Oh gosh, um, I've been to like so many places, it kind of keeps getting more and more sort of diverse mm -hmm. each year. But, and I feel like a lot of people have been to this place, but I went to the Maldives in April, it was just after my birthday and that was the first time I ever kind of stepped off a plane. I got on a seaplane as well, oh, wow. which for someone who's That's quite scared seaplane. of, well, it's, it literally takes off of the sea oh, and lands that. on the oh, sea. They like dropped, dropped us in the middle of the ocean on a little square pad I didn't thing. Know they existed. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're something, yeah, they're really something. And, um, but yeah, no, I got off what? the seaplane and we walked into our hotel and I just felt like I was gonna cry. It was so beautiful, everything was so picture perfect. The water was, warm and turquoise it was like just like the pictures so it was very very exciting to it be there. It is a destination I do want to do so yeah. um, maybe in a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> but we would, um, what about time of the year as well because we were talking about like different places to visit and when's best to go to the Maldives? When did you go? I went at the end of April and apparently that is just approaching monsoon right. season so we were very very lucky to only have one downpour. That's when we were there, but that's the best time for the water. Apparently the water is its most kind of warm and I'm someone that's always cold, so I don't get in water unless it's very, very warm. Um, and it was literally like a bath. It was like getting oh, in a bath, amazing. it was amazing. It was amazing. really good. Oh, so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any holiday tanning regime? So thinking about different things like a beach holiday, um, if you're going for more of a city break, do you have regimes that you do for each one does it differ yeah it definitely differs there's different products that i would would use for each i would say for somewhere like the maldives i would tan before i went and then i would kind of upkeep that whilst i was out there using like the um gradual tanner the everyday tanner and um, that's the tinted one as well because gradual tan tinted, yeah yeah, yeah that's perfect. amazing and um, i use that to kind of like build on what i've already got and then as my natural tan kind of comes through because you especially in somewhere like the maldives you um, tan naturally anyway exactly and yeah. quite quickly yeah so I have to have like sunscreen on and that just kind of adds a nice glow to it and that works really well for there but then if I was going to like a festival or something I'd probably go quite strong with my tan I'm one of those people that kind of tans every day yeah. just like I like to keep it looking perfect because I exfoliate every day so yeah there's definitely different different products and different regimes are used for Absolutely. different holidays. Yeah, there's a product that is perfect to sit every yeah. sort of occasion. And that's the same as me. If I'm going to, um, let's say, a festival season, I like that deep, dark tan. Maybe come summer months, it goes a little bit more subtle. And then evenings, meals, probably like a nice medium tan. Yeah, or the gloss. The, the gloss, gloss is, is, is my is my evening if I'm going out for dinner with Ali or if I'm going out with the girls yeah. that is like you show the gloss it's amazing the I gloss, remember when they used that on me for the first time I was like yeah. <gasps> it, do you know what I love this for holiday I always take this away because it looks incredible on top of a holiday tan 
So you've got your natural tan. You it looks amazing just After there. sun, so you can put this on top of after sun. Because it's got no tanning agent in there, it is like a skin finishing product. So you get that gorgeous sheen. If you've got that holiday tan, that on top, on the legs, on the shoulders, the collotage area, just looks beautiful, doesn't it? And I know that is one of your favorite yeah. products, isn't it? Yeah. Rub that in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Lydia, we've got another question for you. What uh, What's the pre-tanning regime? So do you prep your skin before? I kind of have to prep my skin every day. Yeah, I've got you really you exfoliate every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I've got really weird skin, and I've got to kind of rub over it with a tanning, uh, not tanning mitt, a uh, exfoliating yes. mitt every yeah. day in the shower. So I always have to do that every day, which means I then have to touch up anywhere that I may have like exfoliated the tan off. But that is my little secret weapon, I think, because yeah. it keeps my skin always looking like buffed and polished. So as much as it is because my skin is just weird in that sense, I have to exfoliate my whole body. So it means my showers wow. are very long. <laughs> Ali's got used to that now, my partner, Ali. generally most people <laughs> exfoliate every two or three days. So. I know, I've, got the, I've just got this weird skin that I, it just needs that. And it needs it. So that's, the, that's kind of my tanning secret weapon, I think. It's how I stop getting any sort of like build up of tan okay. or anything like that. It works really well. People are really frightened to exfoliate when they have a tan because they think it's going to remove their tan. That's with a holiday tan and the self tan. It doesn't it prolongs your tan? Yeah. And and ensures that you get that really nice fade. So it is one thing that Sancho is all about preparing and maintaining your skin. And you can do that before you go on holiday, exfoliate the skin. And if you, I always put a bit of tan on before I go, so yeah. I've got that gorgeous base color. I then tan naturally on holiday using a high SPF. You still tan through an SPF and people sometimes think it's gonna stop your tan from taking. It's not. And don't think because you've got that colour from your self tan that you are protected. It's really important that you are using an SPF. But as that holiday tan comes through, your self tan can gradually fade, yeah. um, which is perfect. So you have got that tan the whole time you're on holiday. That is my worst thing, is turning up on holiday and I'm the newbie white person. When I've got no tan on, I'm like <laughs> as white as this. Honestly, I've got, I'm so pale. So I have to have a base colour when yeah. I go. Uh, are you the same? Yeah, oh my God, exactly <laughs> the same. Like I, that's the worst thing when you turn up and you're like, oh, they just it's got just, here. Yeah. They just arrived, the new kids are here. <laughs> and it's also, it's things like clothing. Like I have um, your clothing that you pack, like white dresses and things. You, I can't wear white dresses and things when I've got no tan on. So it's, I need, your holiday clothes that tend to be a bit more brighter, a bit yeah. more pastel Show colors, off your which, skin. So what sort of colors do you think makes your tan pop? What sort of outfits and colors? I wear quite muted tones in my wardrobe anyway but the only time that I really do have a little bit of fun with it is when I'm on holiday yeah. or when I'm traveling but I go for sort of more like dusky coral colors and yeah. I find that those especially with like like I've got quite an olive skin tone so even when I tan like it's quite an olive base and those kind of colors look so nice oh, against a sort of like base tan. It just, it looks amazing. So Absolutely. those are the colors I go for. I love pink anyway, so yeah. I, love, I love your Pink's dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we've chosen our location where we want to go and then it's all about the packing. As I mentioned, it's like those beautiful colors, but what to pack. I end up checking everything in my case and I take so much stuff with me that I don't wear half of it. Um, so what is the best way to pack for different occasions so like a beach holiday or a city break what do you take into do you take so much stuff as like generally as I do or well I think I do I think I think that's just a girl, a girl thing, thing. <laughs> although my partner yeah. takes a lot of stuff as well. yeah. <laughs> he, the trip that we just got back from yesterday he actually had a bigger suitcase than me oh, wow. so I was like yes <laughs> but no I mean I kind of follow the same principle I like to plan outfits in my head yeah. and pack those and I actually do that before every day so before I go to bed at night it's not like a I stand there in front of my wardrobe and I yeah. think right this is what's going to go with this it's just something that I do in my head yeah. so that I'm not rummaging through my wardrobe frantically trying to find things so I plan outfits and those are the things that I take and I plan outfits for different occasions but I also kind of center them around the accessories that I love at that yeah. moment in time so the trip that I went on yesterday I only took one pair of heels and wow. one bag and that kind of went with everything that I'd taken with me. So all the different types of dresses, all the different types of shirts and t-shirts and jumpers, it could be quite versatile. Yeah. I mean, that was only, I think like 
32 hours that we were there or something like that so that's not bad I would probably take more handbags and <laughs> shoes than that on a normal trip but this I was trying to be like really good on this yes. trip but usually there's more outfits there's more accessories and there's more things that I've like packed but that's I mean we're always going to overpack I think oh, you're always going to think oh I, I didn't need to bring that yeah but shoes yeah. as well it's really hard isn't it the amount of shoes Heels I take and then flats. <laughs> it's like yeah that was funny in the Maldives actually because you don't really wear shoes in the Maldives so I had all these lovely shoes stacked up and I was like well you literally, oh, yeah. I just didn't wear any shoes. I was at that in Thailand. Yes. It's like, because we went to a very quiet island and I took heels and I was like, I'm not even walking. I didn't yeah. touch one pair of heels. So I was in flats the whole time. Yeah. Oh. So, um, excellent. Um, so, oh, we've got another question um, from Sarah Beth wants to know what might we find in your holiday makeup bag? So, you are not just a fashion blogger, you are beauty as well. So, Give us your tips on the best things to take on holiday for you. So I think that you kind of dance to the beat of your own drum with this and it's however you feel comfortable. But I feel most comfortable when I'm away with like not a huge amount of makeup on actually. When I was in the Maldives, I didn't wear foundation the entire time I was there. It was actually really nice. I like love it was makeup. Oh. Free. makeup free. <laughs> but because I don't tan my face because I get quite dry areas on my face, so I tend to just match it up with with bronzers and things like that but the the there's probably two products that i absolutely love and if any of my subscribers or followers are watching they'll know that i love the by terry cc serum that is the one thing that helps me match my face to my body wow. so that it all looks quite seamless yeah. and then i love a bronzer that that one there it's great, <laughs> that's isn't amazing it? you so can kind of pick which one you want depending on how dark do you swirl you it together you can do yeah i i, I swirl it together if i'm really like feeling yep. the glow I will or you use all three separately yeah yeah so we can use this one maybe more to highlight yeah contour with that one yeah and bronze with that one it's or so, it's so good together it is fab it's great and it's handy to take away because you can use it on the body as well sometimes like my neck and chest doesn't don't always take as well so I use it to bronze up on that I'm not someone that can like lie down and like tan no. I, so I'm constantly sat up so my neck is like the one area that I do have to yeah. focus on to get like that sort of seamless tan yeah. look um, but then I also just love a slick of mascara as well I feel like that is just a holiday look just yeah. barely there skin and then a slick of mascara I love high street drugstore mascaras they're amazing so yeah ah, excellent so um, we are, we've talked about our destination we've talked about packing what about when you're there so are you tanning when you're there as well or do you do it just before you go when you're on holiday I've, I mean, in that sense, my tanning routine doesn't really sort of change that much. I tend to kind of upkeep when I'm at home and upkeep when I travel, but yeah. I just use different products. I have a little sort of wardrobe of tanning products that I go for that suit each aspect that I need. So when I'm away, I probably would use the gradual tanner and that would be the one that just keeps my tan going. But in the UK, obviously, we're not, we don't get a lot of sun, no. so I would use something a little stronger to make sure that it's always dark. Um, but I do tend to do every day. That is, do you? yeah, yeah. I'm, Even on holiday? Yeah, I'm a perfectionist. Wow. I, I, I'm a, that's the way that I've always had. I wake up and I shower, I exfoliate, and then I just touch up where I need to. So do you tan in the morning? Do you tan at night? I'm a morning Are tanner. Are you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because we were at Express, how long do you leave that on for? Um, we talked about. It. I, I don't. I don't wash express. Off. <laughs> I just. I just. You know, go put it on, do my thing. I go out. <laughs> so anybody who uses express, it is an express product. So you leave it on the skin one to three hours, depending on how dark you want to be. One hour for light tan, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. It's a convenience tan that you can then wash off, and it will carry on developing. Lydia wears it all day. <laughs> yeah, so by the time I get home tonight, I will look like I've been to the Maldives again. <laughs> you can see it has got a gorgeous natural um, guide colour to that. So if you did want to go out and about while your tan's developing, you can do with absolutely any of the, the range. So we have a product that generally suits everybody. We have our gradual tans, which I know you said gradual tan tinted is your favourite. The grad tan tinted is actually a really nice one for holiday as well because you get that instant sort of coverage there it yeah. evens out the skin tone um, as well so I like to use it on the legs on the shoulders and then it carries on developing over the four to eight hours 
The gradual tans give us like that sun-kissed glow. So the gradual tan plus, which have got additional benefits to them. So one of my favorite products at the minute is actually the gradual tan luminous veil for the face. It's got red snow extracts in there, which is anti-aging, anti-pollutant. It is beautiful. It's I got, heard you talk about you that earlier and I was like, oh, I've not used that. I haven't got it out for some reason. It's the smaller, ver it comes in that packaging, but it's a smaller one. And it's got like purple flecks in it. So it's light reflecting, so your skin instantly looks glowing. Mm -hmm. So it is beautiful. It's one of my glow. favorite, favorite <laughs> products at the minute. So um, we also then have our self tan. So these are the ones that you leave on the skin four to eight hours. You wake up, you've got that gorgeous tan and you've got the cho uh, choices between a medium one, which is classic, or we've got the darker range. If you want that deep, dark tan, put it on, sleep in it, wake up and wash off the guy color and you've got a beautiful tan that will last you five to seven days. Depends on how you're maintaining it. We've got quick um, fix ones like um, instants. So I've got the instant on my legs. So I have got Express on, but I just popped a bit of that on just to even out my skin tone. Yeah. Um, I think we popped that on you on the BAFTAs, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. On the arms. So that is great. They're transfer resistant and they're water resistant as well. Which and is then, great because I wear a lot of like white. So uh, yes. <laughs> I was yeah, actually wearing dress, a white dress I on remember, that. I remember the, the instant was like... <laughs> China. But the instants are actually a really good one for holiday. Yeah. Um, especially for those first few days, if you haven't tanned or you you know you do want to give your tan a little bit of a boost, you can still put your after sun on and then put this on over the top, and it's just like a bit of a makeup for the body. There's no tanning agent in this. As soon as you finished and get home and shower, it washes away, and then you're ready for the next day. So I love, absolutely love them. My favorite, one of my favorite products. Another one to take on holiday, I think, is great. Is the in showers? I've never, I've never had the guts to try that. Do you, you need to try. I it. know, I know. I've Especially got... <laughs> because you tan every day, this could probably save you a lot of time because you just leave them on the skin for three minutes in the shower. Three minutes. So you wash your body, um, leave it on the skin for three minutes. In your case, you would exfoliate your body, leave it on for three minutes, and then literally wash it off, and it will carry on developing over the next four to eight hours. Gradually builds up a sun-kissed glow. So. I'm going to have to try I that love one. this one. Um, if you go on holiday, you know, sometimes if you do want to keep your tan topped up, yeah. this is perfect for it. And a lot of men like this one as well. Really? Because mm. it's, it's a more that. discreet way of tanning. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the other thing as well I want to talk about is you're getting married soon, I am. aren't you? Yes. So, yeah. how's the congratulations and how is the wedding planning going? Well, I mean, it's actually going a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, I feel, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, it's very daunting and there's so much to think about and you know I didn't know I wanted to have a sparkly dance floor at my wedding but apparently I do, do? so um, yeah I've got a sparkly, sparkly dance floor nice. that's happening don't have a dress yet but it's have a sparkly, sparkly dance sparkles. floor <laughs> um, but yeah no so that's it is going along well and um, I, I feel a lot more excited now I actually had a meeting um, with my florists the other day and I felt like I could see things coming together and I think yeah. it's at that point that you, you're kind of like Oh, this is happening. This is like happening. Ali's on his stag do right now. So. Oh, wow. Where's he gone? He's gone to Marbella. Oh, nice. Yeah. Amazing. Lucky. What have they dressed him up in? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I saw him at four o'clock this morning in a Hawaiian shirt and shorts and like a sun hat and some, I, I, I think he had sunglasses on. I was like looking through one eye and I was just like, oh God. And then I heard him say downstairs, he was like, it's a bit d and isn't it? And I was like... No, <laughs> no, no, Ali, it, it's not. <laughs> Amazing. So you have your um, stag and head it quite early on, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. We're like we're Which leaving nice a little bit of space weather. in between. Yeah, so we can have a bit in the sun in the sun blah, blah, sunshine. Yeah, <laughs> Don't get my words out. And um, and then in, towards the winter time, we'll have the the wedding. So yeah, tanning is really Amazing. important for the for the uh, wedding. Are you going to be tanning for your wedding day? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, no. You, you're not doing it in the morning, are you? Uh, well, you I think before. you're going to be helping me with my I turn, aren't you? Going to do it <laughs> but the skin finishing would happen yeah, in the morning. Skin finishing, absolutely. Yeah. But Tom, yeah, I, my sort of, I always say stick to the three shower rule when it comes to brides, because the only thing that would ever transfer onto clothing or your bridal dress would be the guide colour. Right. Once you've washed that guide colour off, you're not going to get that transfer. So if you're getting married on Saturday, I would say have your tan done on the Thursday. Okay. So you're going to have a shower. If you're using Express, it depends on how long you leave it on, you're going to have a shower sort of Thursday night or if not, if you're leaving it on Friday morning and then Saturday morning, you're generally going to have two to three showers before you're putting your dress on. So right. that would be perfect. Sometimes it lets the tan settle a little bit as well. 
Um, other things to take into consideration, obviously I know you always tan anyway, but for those people, if you are getting married and you don't necessarily have a tan all the time, make sure that you let your makeup artist know that you will be having a tan or have a trial tan done when you have your trial makeup done, just so that you can make sure it matches and different when you've got a tan and when you haven't got a tan it makes a big difference to your makeup doesn't yeah, it definitely. and what colors suit you and things um and what you can wear so um yeah definitely i'm someone that really i'm quite um pernickety about my face matching yes. my my body so i constantly am striving to find different shades of foundation for different shades of my life in my tanning like schedule <laughs> it's ridiculous but i'm so if i put on a foundation and i'm like Oh no, no, it doesn't match. It doesn't look seamless. I've got to find another one. Another one. Yeah. I bet your beauty collection is huge. I feel like <laughs> honestly, it's not as big as I would want it to be. <laughs> I have to share the room with with my partner oh. Ali. But but once we have another house, it, he's out and it's all going to be all beauty. Yeah. Room. So we've got a question there. Will I still tan on holiday if I'm wearing a layer of self tan? So we did touch on this, and yes, you absolutely will. You will still tan it through. So it's really important that you are still making sure that you wear. Um, self to SPF, it's not self tan. Yeah. SPF. Just get confusing to there. You. Um, and then you will tan naturally through. So we've got another question from Gemma. When using self tan products on a holiday, do I need to avoid the pool or sea? Okay, so it's probably one for me to answer. Um, the pool and sea sometimes can fade your tan a little bit quicker, especially the pool because it's got chlorine in it. You're not going to get in the pool and suddenly your tan is going to disappear and you're going to be you know, see it in the water and thing, it will just break it down a little bit quicker. So it's important that you are keeping up your regime of exfoliating and make sure that you are moisturising every day. But what you can do is then top it up and that's where in showers and graduals are really good for that. You can either tan at night before you go to bed and then wake up and you've got your gorgeous tan or in showers, perfect. If you just want to, when you're showering, use it for three minutes rinse it off, you can get out, you can put your moisturiser on, you can carry on going out for your evening and your tan is gradually going to come through over the next four to eight hours. So that's really convenient for holiday. You can just use that every evening just to keep your tan topped up. So yes, it can fade your tan a little bit quicker, but you can take stuff with you to maintain it. But I think, I think um, maintenance is really important as we touched on. You, you, know, you exfoliate every day, do you moisturise every day as yeah. well? Yeah. Keeping your skin well hydrated yeah. really helps with your tan, doesn't it? How I tend to do it, because obviously if I moisturise before I tan, it kind of like sits on top of my skin. So what I do is I um, tan in the morning and then I like slather my body in like moisturiser and sleep. Sleep. So that it gets that, that moisture yeah. back in, because it can be a little bit drying sometimes, especially when you're in the sea air exactly. and it's just important to, to be moisturising. So that's what I do, even if it's like body oils or anything, I just do that overnight and let my body just kind of like cook, cook. in it <laughs> absolutely and i think one thing people sometimes do is put moisturizer on and then put tan on top. yeah yeah that will stop the tan from over um stop the tan from developing to its full potential so make sure you only moisturize the dry areas the hands the elbows knees and feet apply your tan but then once the tan has developed that's when you can lather your skin in all your moisturiser and yeah. sleep in it. Excellent. So Charlotte um, sh has asked a question. Should I take more than one tan with me on holiday? What do you think? What's your, what do you usually do? I do, do. but that's just because I never know the situation that I'm going to be in because I'm always going to like different destinations. So I want to know that I've got my tools yes. to keep my tan. So I wouldn't take more than like three, which are my, probably my three favourite products. So is, those, are, yeah. those are the ones that I would take with me, the Gloss, the Gradual and Express. Express. Those are the ones that I would take because those kind of cover the bases that I need in terms of tanning. But um, if you already know what works for you, just take that. If you're going to like, you know, Spain and you've been there every year, you probably know what you're going to need when yeah. you're out there. So don't overcomplicate things, but um, just take what you need. Yeah. That's what I would say. And the, I think the Express is a really good one because you can then adapt it to having a light, exactly. medium or dark tan. Yeah. Another one as well, glass, as, as we talked about, is beautiful for a holiday skin. And because you've got a little bit of colour, even if you haven't got the, any tan on, if you just put that on, yeah. it will give you a gorgeous glow as well. So yeah, absolutely. My two key ones as well. Um, so again, you can t use the gloss to take your tan, maybe change your look from a day to an evening look yeah. as well. So you've got your Express on in the day, gives you that gorgeous glow, depends on how, sort of what depth of tan you want. Put that gloss on and it just really tr transforms your look. And as well, talking about like weddings and that, I know a lot of brides will 
put it on in the evening to take their look from a day to an evening look. Oh my God, that's such a yeah. good idea. Yeah, so it's a really great finish, especially if you've got skin exposed um, um, in your dress, backless, strapless, things like that, down the spine, yeah. shoulders, collarbone. It just looks incredible on. I'm so, picking up so many tips yeah. for, for wedding. I'm, like everyone, everyone has these little tips. I'm like, I, I feel like I need a notebook to like, note <laughs> these things down. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, your, so your three favorite products we've talked is Express, Gloss and Gradual Tan, yeah. which I absolutely love, excellent. I always lose my tan so quickly when I come back from holiday, how can I prolong my tan? So how do you prolong your tan when you get back? Whether it be a natural tan or self-tan? I think that it's just skin maintenance, really. Absolutely. It's just looking after your skin. I don't think there's necessarily anything that's like a trick that I use. It's just the general care that you, I mean, it's your skin, yeah. like you should be looking after it. And I think if your skin's in good condition, hydrated, drinking water, using good moisturizers, exfoliating, maybe not as regularly as I do, but <laughs> <a week. laughs> you don't need to go that far. Um, but yeah, I just think the general care and attention that you would want your skin to have is, is the best sort of foundations for any tan, whether it's natural or Saint-Tropez, it's, it's whatever. That's how really you're going to keep your tan glowing as well, isn't it? Just general maintenance, prep and maintain, exfoliate and moisturise every day. Excellent. So I want to know how you keep your glow go going so though. I'm pick, I want to pick up more tips now. Okay, so I am, um, it is all about maintenance. Um, I am such a big um, one on exfoliation and moisturise. My skin is so dry and dehydrated. And as you mentioned, sometimes when you do use tan, it can slightly dehydrate your skin. Yeah. So that's why it's important you moisturise. And I do a lot of travelling as well, like probably not as beautiful places as you and as much glamorous, <laughs> but you know, when you're on the, you know, even in the environment when you're travelling, when I come down to London on the train, Trains, aircon, in the car, heating, yeah. and then aeroplanes. My skin can get quite dry and tight, so that's why I need to make sure that I moisturise every day. And by doing that and exfoliating, once probably midweek. So if I do my tan on a Friday, probably about Tuesday, I do a very very light exfoliation with the body polish that blends it down. And then on a Friday, have you used our tan remover mitt? No. If you love exfoliation, you need to get this mitt. It's amazing. I oh. use our tan remover mitt on a Friday. It's my regime. And I scrub my tan off completely. And does it just take it off? It shifts off any last traces of tan. It's brilliant. So I've got a clean I canvas. I have one. You one. <laughs> and then you apply, I reapply my tan. So my tan is always looking flawless. There's nothing worse than walking around with bits where it can grab on those dry areas. And the darker your tan is, the more obvious the fade as well. Yeah. So if you are using darker tans, you know, making sure that you moisturise and gently exfoliate and don't be frightened to exfoliate. I know we're talking a lot about it, but it's so important, I think, and people are so frightened to do it. And same when they're on holiday with their natural tan, they think it's taking their natural tan off. Personally, I think my natural tan lasts longer if I have exfoliated when I'm on holiday I'm exactly as well. the same. We're on the same page. Yes, that makes me feel good. good. I feel like I've got my sort of tanning regime <laughs> yeah. on lock. And then when you get back, as, as my holiday tan probably starts to fade, that's when I can start topping up again. Yeah. So whether it be gradual, just to give it a little bit of a boost, the gradual tan tinted is one of your favourites, or whether then I'm going out, I'm going to go on for express for three hours. Yeah, the <laughs> whole <know>. day. <laughs> <laughs> so Lydia, um, what are your tips for glowing? We've talked about that. So what are your makeup tips as well? Um, what else for when you get back? Do you, you know you don't wear foundation when you're away? What are sort of tips have you got over here to really make a tan pop and stand out? Um, I think in terms of makeup, I just, I mean, there's a lot to be said for a good bronzer and yeah. you can really tailor your foundation if you haven't necessarily got the, the right color for your tan, when you come back, you can kind of customize your foundation quite a lot with a bronzer. Yeah. There's also like drops and things like that that you can add to your foundation to customize it that way. Um, but I just, I'm, I, I'm someone that has quite a, um, quite a wide foundation wardrobe. So is it more about base for you? And you quite- Yeah, I keep it quite, quite simple. Quite, just yeah. a bit of mascara, a bit of lip. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm someone that's like, kind of, I, if I find something that works, I stick to yeah. it. And I think it, it says the same for, for tanning. Like when you find a product that works, you stick to it. And I'm the same with my look, with my hair, with my makeup. I just tend to, to continuously go back to the products that I love and stick with the look that I love. 
because then you don't have too many of those disasters. Yeah. You know when you do like, I don't know, like green eyeshadow? Oh God. If you, <laughs> yes. if you do that, then there's photographic evidence of it. And yeah. I, I just don't have to experiment. But I think I probably would like to try a little bit more. I'm going to experiment more with eyeshadows, but just keep it still quite muted. And yeah, stuff like that. very but, neutral. Yeah. Excellent. So one thing that comes very quickly when you get back off holiday, and I know a few of the girls who are here today, one's just got back off a honeymoon, one's just got back off holiday, and it's this post-holiday blues. <laughs> How do you pick yourself up when you're back and maybe you haven't got another trip for a while? What's your sort of tips to getting over those post-holiday blues? Well, I was gonna say, just book another one. Yeah, <laughs> if, but... we, if we can't book another one. <laughs> um, I find, um, this I don't know whether this sounds a bit hippie or I don't know, but like I I find that self care makes me feel really just my better again. Sometimes when you're on holiday, you know you indulge a little bit yeah, and you absolutely. come back feeling like yeah you had a good di you had a good time, but you maybe drank too many sangria yeah. or whatever. And it's good to come back. I like to hit the gym. I like to maybe book myself a little like massage or something just to. Make like myself a bit of me time. Yeah, a bit of me time. Even though you've just relaxed on weeks. a holiday, but it's good to come back yeah. and just like you know that doesn't take up too much time of your your schedule. You can go to the gym regularly. A lot can be said for endorphins. I yeah. sometimes think that I float out of the gym, so that does actually help with it. I do think yeah. that's a big one that helps me personally with feeling yeah. better after a trip. I think sometimes when you have been on, maybe if it's, especially if it's like a two week holiday, yeah. and towards the end you sort of get ready to get back into that routine, yeah. get back to the gym, eat healthy, drink water, yeah, you know, do water. all the things we're meant to do and it completely goes out the window when you're on holiday. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, sometimes. So yeah, really having, sort of get back into that lifestyle really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Excellent, I love that. If you still need a bit of help, don't forget to speak to Thea as well. If you still need to decide on what products to use, I know me and Lydia are probably talking a lot about Gradual Tan, Express and Gloss because they're probably, <laughs> we're both on the same page and they're, they are generally both you know, one of our favourite products, three of our favourite products, but if you still need to have some advice or you're not sure which one to use, you can go onto our Tambot and meet Thea. Have you met Thea a bit yet? No. So on Facebook, if you go onto Facebook Messenger, um, you can talk to Thea. Thea is our Glow Professional, so she will navigate you through to find that perfect tan for you for your occasion. So if you're going on holiday oh. and you want a deep dark tan, she'll find that perfect tan. That's so if you're going to a wedding, you want a bit of a glow or you want a quick fix tan, she's going to find it for you. So pop on and say hi to Thea, she's very friendly. Um, most of the time, and <laughs> she will help you to find that perfect glow for you, whether it's for holiday or whether it's for a wedding or just a night out. So we are coming towards the end of our studio glow, sadly. But thank you so much for joining us, Lydia. Thank you it's for having lovely. me. I've had such a good time. And we are going to be joining you next month, and we're going to be talking all things Mantan. Ooh. Okay, so um, that will be next month and that will be with myself. So for now, that's everything. Anything else you want to add, Lydia? No, I think I've covered everything. Think everything? Yeah. And we'll see you next month. Thanks, guys. Bye.